Yo, a freaky new synth just rocked up to the shop. It is the Mini Freak from Arturia. It is the follow-up to their oddball little synth, the Micro Freak. Uh, now it's six voices polyphonic. It has a traditional key layout rather than the touch keys on the micro. And it's a whole lot of fun. Uh, first impressions are very strong. So uh, let's roll a clip of some of the presets and I'll take you through it. Alright, so I haven't had a lot of time with this yet, so today's video is not going to be exhaustive demonstration, I'm sorry, but we'll touch on a lot of the key points to give you a good idea of what this thing's about. So, like I said, six voice polyphonic. <laughs> A 64 step polyphonic sequencer, there is two envelopes, two LFOs, and the LFOs have heaps and heaps of shapes, like check this out, so hold down shift and go through the wave. Decaying decays, wobbly, strum envelope, triangle bounces, rhythmic, 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 stepped, and user shaper. So. I guess there's a way to put in your own custom LFO shapes, which is a pretty cool thing. But moving on, the hybrid architecture of the micro with all those digital engines going through an analog filter, that is all there again, except one big key point of difference. There's now two layers of those digital engines. So you can mix and match any of the uh, currently 14 different uh, digital engines, mix them together, take them through the analog filter, and create some wonderfully complex sounds. Now I say currently 14 digital engines because there's been expansions. The last firmware update saw the addition of a couple made by noise engineering. One of them is called Saw X and it is probably my favorite. It is this super crusty saw sound. I will give it a quick demo. But let's move on, let's check out the effects banks. So there's three effects banks now. We've got one, two, three. And you scroll through type here and see all the different kinds of effects. Chorus, flanger, phaser, distortion, bit crusher, three band EQ, peak EQ, multi band compressor. And the great thing is that it's not just the one type of reverb or one type of chorus or one type of delay or whatever. Hold down shift and you can scroll through different chorus types, for example, dark, lush, default, shaded, single. The distortions have quite a few options as well. Let's have a look. Where is distortion? There it is. Hold down shift, scroll through the distortions. You got classic, soft clip, germanium, dual fold, climb, tape. Actually, the tape sounds really good. So let's take that for a quick spin. This is with the gain quite low. 
turning the gain up. And it's got a high pass and a low pass filter as well. And I reckon we'll give the Bit Crusher a go as well because it is one of the best Bit Crushers I've heard in a hardware set for sure. All right, there it is, dry. Turning up the Bit Crusher. Bit depth, decimate. Bit crushes don't seem to be that musical, but I don't know, that just sounds really good to me. All right, let's move on and check out the sequencer. So 64 step sequencer, uh, maximum that is, and you've got four lanes of automation as well. So that's really fun. You can just uh, twiddle any of the knobs and record that movement into your sequence. Um, you've got easy access to each step along the bottom here. So go to sequence, hit play. You can see them scrolling along here. Easy access to pages of your sequence as well. So going through there. And of course you can make your sequence however long you want, say five steps, easy done. Let's go back to, let's just leave it at eight for now. Keep things simple and we'll try and make a fun little sequence. So put in some notes, just hit record or you can hold down a step and do it that way. But let's just try it this way. Uh, ooh, I'm nervous. Let's try and get a bit of filter movement in. So go to mods, still on record. Ooh. And the neat thing is that if we go stop, you can actually play this sequence on the keys now. So. And uh, I literally just noticed this now, but this button here seems to change these sliders into uh, gate and spice. So let's give it a whirl. Ooh, that is spicy. So I reckon we'll leave it there today. As you can probably tell, I haven't had a lot of time with this synth yet. It's just come in. Unconventional synth is what it says on the box. And so far I tend to agree. It is a box of oddities and a box of really unique characterful sounds, which honestly is what I'm looking for in a hardware synth. So very appealing to me personally. My name is Mike, this is Store DJ's YouTube channel. Feel free to pop into any of our stores around Australia. We'll have this on demo very soon. And uh, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button for me and I'll catch you next time.